to keep you too long, let you get to the video. Basically, it was a really good session. We had 30 to 40 bass. But I didn't do an end into the video. Reason why, I only took two batteries. I didn't want to take all of the camera gear. The conditions was quite bad. It was heavy, heavy rain. There was quite a strong southwesterly blow. Where we was is quite sheltered, so we were safe. But as you'll see in the video, it's quite a wet one. I was literally soaked down to my boxers. But I've been dying to get out on the bass. And the conditions have been crap for the last four or five weeks. And this is the only chance we've had. In the next few days, there's bad weather coming again. So I just had to get out there. So I'll let you get into the video now and let you have a watch. Nice little bass. I'm hoping you're getting some of this on the camera. I'm not really sure whether the conditions are quite bad out here and it's very wet. I'm trying to keep the lens clear, trying to get shots of the fish coming in. We've had about five or six bass now. I haven't got them all on camera. This is really difficult. Right, I'll get this lure chucked out. Mark's got a bass on now, hopefully you can see that. following that one, coming in. 
gone. A little pollock. Greedy little things. Another one Mark had, he's doing me today. But another little bass. There don't seem to be, to be many big ones here today. We'll keep fishing and see if we can get you a bigger one. Gonna give the zonk a chuck. Mega bass zonk. It's 21 grams. I forgot the actual name of this, I think it's pearl white. But give this a go. Get down a bit deeper. <laughs> Little bass, hopefully, you can see this. It's a lot of small ones, but it's good fun. I think we deserve to be out here in these conditions. Bass zonk right there. I'm not sure what the sound quality is like at the moment, but hopefully you can hear it okay. Gonna give the Yozuri Mag Popper a chuck. This one's actually brand new, not been used yet. I got it off of one of the bass pages, 20 quid posted. It's a bargain, really. Considering there was on eBay a month ago and they were selling for 45 50 quid, it's crazy. Hopefully, I catch us a fish now. the Yozuri Mag Popper, slightly bigger bass, Let's see if we can get some more. That is small. Very small one there. Still bass though. Well, if you're still here, I'm guessing you enjoyed the video. As you can see, it was a bit of a rough day. We got quite wet, but we was bringing the fish in, so it just kept the smile on our face. I did keep a couple of bass. If you'd like to see a preparation video with the bass, filleting it, deboning it, for example, just let me know down in the comments. I'll also do a cook up as well if you want to see that, some pan fried bass the way that I personally do it. It's nothing special but it does taste really nice. I just want to add I don't keep every single bass that I catch, it's very rare that I take them but I just fancied a couple and the wife and the kids like it as well so I thought I'd bring it back. I'll spin the camera around now and show you the one that I've brought back. Like I said if you want to see it as a preparation video just let me know. I'll spin it around now, if you don't like seeing dead fish 
turn the video off now because it's pretty much at the end anyway. Right, I'm turning it round now. I've got it in the tub here. I'll get bottles of these Coke bottles and fill them with water and then obviously freeze them. It just helps to keep the fish fresh. I had two bass this size. It's a nice size to be honest. It was £2.14 ounces and weirdly enough, so was the other one. But the regulations here in the UK is two, two bass per angler per day in any 24 hours. Like I said, I don't usually take them. Anything under three pound over the size limit, <clears throat> I will take. Anything bigger than three pound, I generally put back. My personal preference, to me, they carry more row and they have more, more spawn sort of thing. So taking any fish is not good for conservation, obviously. So just do it with some respect and some thought. Don't just slaughter everything. But no one can tell you what you can and can't take out the sea. As long as you stick to the regulations and the minimum sizes, then it's in your own right. If you want to take them, take them. But just have a bit of consideration to it. We need fish there for the future sport. Anyway, I'm going to get off. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.